السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از انادر ویڈیو شارٹ لیکچر ریگارڈنگ وائرسز اینڈ بیکٹیریاز ویل وائرسز آر ناٹ ایکچول سیلس بیکاز دے ڈو ناٹ کنٹین پروٹوپلازم وٹ دے اونلی کنٹین از ڈی این اے سنگل اسٹرینڈ آف ڈی این اے آئیدر ڈی این اے اور آر این اے اینڈ سراؤنڈیڈ بائی اے پروٹین کوٹ سو دے فور وائرسز کین بی ڈیوائڈیڈ آئیدر ڈی این اے وائرس اور آر این اے وائرس Viruses have different shapes. They are of spherical shape, example influenza virus, rod shape, tobacco mosaic virus, which is also called TMV virus, which frequently attack on the tobacco plant, tadpole shape virus, which is actually a bacteriophage virus and it attacks on bacterial cell. Viruses basically attack on living cell and that living cell is called host outside the host cell viruses do not show any living activity but once they go inside the host cell there with the virus reproduce and replicate very speedily by using the system of host cell the disease which are caused by the different viruses are common cold influenza chicken pox dengue fever, herpes, AIDS, etc, etc. One thing is important that antibiotics, which are the drugs, effective against the bacteria, but these drugs are not effective against the viruses. And I just want you to show the structure of the virus, which commonly drawn in the books. Here you can see the virus has simple uh, structure having outside protein core and having inner nucleic acids and the kind of a structure which is uh, used to attach them attach with the host cell this is a simple virus structure and these are the micrographs of tobacco mosaic virus influenza virus and a bacteriophage virus what you are looking at so i'm sure you are all clear this is enough knowledge for o levels uh, student We are going towards bacteria. Well, bacteria are the living cells. They are the primitive living cells. Larger than viruses, have cell surface membrane, cytoplasm, cell wall as well. <clears throat> But they do not contain any nuclear membrane. So bacteria don't have any defined nucleus. And uh, the single circular loop of DNA, that is bacterial chromosome, is scattered in the cytoplasm. Another important thing is that they also have a smaller ring shape of DNAs which are called plasmids which are used as a vector to transfer genes between cells of different species and these plasmids which are actually smaller ring shape DNA are used by genetic uh, engineers to def develop different things by using the bacteria plasmids. Most bacteria are non-motile. <clears throat> they are um, they are not able to move while some species are motile and if they are motile they have a specialized structure called flagella there are different shapes of bacteria also if they are spherical shape they are called cocci if they are rod shape they are called bacilli if they are of spiral shape they are spirilla we can i show the picture later on bacteria may be saprophytic in nature that is they feed on decaying or dead organic matter and these bacteria actually act as a decomposers bacteria may be act as a parasite their they, their mode of nutrition is parasitic mode of nutrition that is they attack on living host and causing disease in plants and animals and yes bacteria are autotrophic also some bacteria contains chlorophyll in it and they are able to do photosynthesis and able to uh, form their own food some bacteria respire arabically while some respire anaerobically bacteria reproduce is actually very rapidly by the process called binary fission and this process parent cell splits into two equal halves to form daughter cells they also form spores spore formation is a process in bacteria during unfavorable conditions like high heats or cold and these spores are basically thick walled structure which are formed around the uh, bacteria to protect the bacteria against the unfavorable environment but once the environment become favorable these spore walls breaks up and then they begin to grow and multiply 
thank you very much students well uh, the one thing which i'll show is these this is structure of bacteria what you are looking at and i'm sure if you look at this is the flagella if the bacteria has the flagella structure they are then considered to be motile you see cell wall cytoplasm cell membrane a single chromosome is scattered in the cytoplasm these are the <clears throat> different shapes of the bacteria what you are looking at i'm sure you are clear thank you very much